Welcome to our clinical picture discussion. I'm Jessica Wong from MD Anderson Cancer Center with Anna Locke from the University of Michigan. Our case is a 70-year-old man with CLL treated with fludarabine and cyclophosphamide and rituximab. After four courses, ALT increased. He had been taking a lot of vitamins and, new and supplements. After stopping the supplements, ALT normalized, but 18 months later, again, the ALT increased. Anna, what are the potential causes of ALT elevation in this case? Well, there are many potential causes, including involvement of the liver by leukemia, drug induced on liver injury, uh, including nutritional supplements, as in this case, infection, sepsis, acute viral hepatitis. Reactivation of hepatitis C has been reported um, in patients receiving rituximab, but uncommon. Reactivation of hepatitis B during rituximab therapy, on the other hand, is very common, not only in hepatitis B service and in positive patients, but also in service and negative core antibody positive patients. As you can see, this patient did have hepatitis B reactivation. And let us now review the society guidelines. ASCA recommends hepatitis B testing for all patients before systemic cancer therapy. If the surface antigen or the core antibody test is positive, then the patient is at risk for reactivation. Anna, what are the AASLD recommendations for treatment? Well, ASLD recommends that we use prophylactic therapy for all hepatitis B service antigen positive patients that will be receiving anti-cancer therapy. And for patients with service antigen negative core antibody positive indicating prior hepatitis B infection, only if they need to receive potent immunosuppressive therapy, such as rituximab. We recommend um, antacavir or tenofovir, and the antiviral therapy should be started as soon as possible preferably before anti cancer therapy, and continue for at least six months after completion of treatment or 12 months in the case of anti-CD20 therapy. Hepatitis B reactivation can be fatal, but it can be prevented. Thank you.